Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel! In today's video, I'm going to show you all how to wash your starter locks. This is my first time washing my hair with starter locks in and it's been about three weeks. So let's get right into it. I'm going to be using Shea Moisture's Manuka Honey and Mephora Oil Intensive Hydration Shampoo and separating my hair into sections so I get the most thorough cleanse to my scalp. Since recording this video, I have started using Dr. Bronner's Peppermint Soap on my hair, but since I like to wash my hair on a weekly basis now, I plan on alternating between Dr. Bronner's and this Hanuka Honey Shampoo just so my hair doesn't dry out, but on the contrary, I think that helps the hair lock faster. I don't really know. What are your thoughts on how frequent you should wash and what soaps you should use? Leave a comment down below, I'd love to know. One trick for preventing buildup is to scrub the inside of the root of the lock like this. Another trick to prevent buildup is to wash your hair as frequently as you wish. I actually think washing your hair more frequently helps it to lock faster because you're getting more shrinkage, which is helping the hair to lock. This is what my hair looks like after it's somewhat dry. I dry it with a microfiber towel and yeah, I look like a boy. So the next thing I do is just look for any twists that have unraveled and just retwist them. Depending on the texture of your hair, you might get more or less loose twists. So. For my texture, I didn't have too many, which was a relief, and so I just retwisted the ones I did find to unravel, and yeah. I do know that some people wash their starter locks with a stocking cap on, but I think nobody got time for that, or at least I don't. I mean I do, but yeah, I don't know, I just would rather just retwist everything, which is probably more work. But, anywho, do whatever you feel, right? Now, when it comes to the roots, I kind of do a light separation, like just pulling against each part, just to prevent the locks from marrying each other. So that's basically when the parts try to combine. So I just separate it a little to prevent that. The next thing to do is to oil your scalp. If you'd like to see what bow mixture I use, you can click right up here and watch the video. But yeah, I just kind of go ham on oiling my scalp. I do not like having a dry, itchy scalp. What are your thoughts on oiling your scalp? Leave a comment down below and let me know because I know some people say they don't oil their scalp because their scalp produces natural sebum, which everyone's scalp does. But for me personally, if I don't oil my scalp, it's gonna be dry and it's gonna be itchy and flaky and I don't like that. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you guys do. And afterwards, I give myself a nice good old massage for my scalp to stimulate hair growth. And that just about wraps up my wash day routine for locks. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!